And then I had this extraordinary thing I discovered in a hotel in London, a sculpture, a very, very beautiful sculpture of a black cat. And it was like the emblem of the hotel. Um, it's called Casper. And I remember saying to the people at the hotel, could I take it out of its case and stroke it? It's really, really beautiful. You can go and see it. The hotel is called Savoy in London. Just go to the front door, talk to the man in the top hat and said, Mr. Morpurgo says I can come and see Caspar. Don't take no for an answer. Just say please. And they will show you this extraordinarily beautiful cat. And I saw this cat was the the symbol of this very, very smart hotel, and it's been there for years and years and years. And I remember standing there, watching all the people going down these steps into this room where they all ate, and there were chandeliers everywhere. It was like a sort of a princess's palace. But it was also like something else. It's like a photograph I'd seen of the, the dining room of a huge, huge ship you might have heard of called the Titanic. Now, what no one has ever written a story of is the ship's cat on the Titanic. There is a good reason for this. There wasn't a ship's cat on the Titanic. But if you read Caspar, you'll discover that history was wrong. There was a cat on the ship. So read it, see what you think of it. It is about the sinking of the Titanic. In places, it's quite a serious story, but essentially, it's about a girl who loves this cat and vice versa. So it's about a relationship and it's about trust. Um, and yes, it's about the sinking of the Titanic. See what you think of it.